We had an, another question come in from Jordan Nall, and he is at Nall.Jordan. Also, shout out to Jordan. He's a Patreon member. Oh, he's yeah. a patron. 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 Um, and he asks, why do you guys think ID as a career isn't very well known? Mm. And do you think it's better for ID to be less known? He says that he hears from sources, Google, lol, that <laughs> I, I'm just reading. I'm just reading, just word. reading yeah, word for yeah. word. He says from sources that the ID job market is already pretty saturated. Um, and he wants to know our thoughts. Yeah, I uh, I think it is some sort of conspiracy amongst industri- industrial designers to keep the pool small. <laughs> don't tell anyone. No, we found the perfect job. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't I don't know why. I mean, I did find out in high school, but I think I think my mom actually figured, or no, my dad, because my dad is an engineer, and he's worked with industrial designers, so he knew the career, but. For the normal person who's like, how do I put all these skills together? I mean, you kind of talked about this yeah, um, in your talk last night at Apple. I don't really, again, it was kind of an accident. You know, I just yeah. discovered it searching for majors in colleges. It's so wild to me because it seems like Henry, uh, Henry Dreyfus, right? Richard Dreyfus. Wait. I don't even know what you're talking about. Not (laughs) Dreyfus. What's the, who's the really infamous like 1920s, 1930s industrial designer? Oh, Raymond Lowy? I mean, he's not 1920s. Oh my God, Dreyfus. Where did Dreyfus come from? I mean, Raymond Lowy, I mean, I have his book right here. I haven't read it yet, but. Well, okay. I don't know where I got Dreyfus. Okay. But Raymond Lowy. Yes. He's he's quoted as, or he's coined as the father of industrial design. He seems like he was like the cat's pajamas. Like people knew who Raymond Lowy was. Yeah. Like he was, he was like high society, highfalutin. You also knew what the Eames were. The Eames came at that time too. How, how is it that we don't really know about industrial design when we have like these super famous and well-known predecessors? I don't know. I think because like Europeans, if you meet Europeans, like you tell them what you do, they immediately know what you do, even when they're not industrial designers. Like they know the field. But in America, which is so weird because we're a, like a like an outwardly capitalist consumerist culture, like how do we not know? I think it's part of the uh, the like self actualization pyramid. I still think that. Europe has had a, a lot more time to reach mm. that pinnacle of, hey, I want to live the best life as I can. And, you know, they've just built their society up so far that to live the best life that you can is just to have this very nice, uh, simple, like, life and have everything curated in your right. life. Like, and have wonderfully designed objects in your household. Whereas in America, it's, I think we're still on like second tier to, to the top. It's like, oh yeah, let's just buy everything we can and as much as we can just try to figure out what we're trying to do. We're, we're definitely, well, we've just hit mid-century again. What, mid-century modern? Yeah, mid-century modern. What, as a trend? Yeah. Oh gosh. I mean, not that just. Tr- that but trend it's, belongs but it's, back in the mid-century. But it's, ha. Huh. We've talked but, about this before. No, I, I, I imagine this case where like, <laughs> The, the the pilgrims when they were leaving, like there was an industrial designer that was supposed to be on board, but he <laughs> but he overslept. Because <laughs> he had a he had a big project the night yeah, before. Yeah, he had like a huge deadline the night before. And he like totally overslept. <laughs> and oh, missed that's a good one. Missed the Mayflower. That is a good one. I like that, James. But uh yeah, I don't know. I I, I do feel like there's a part of it where like we are a little just like this little collective, but I don't know. Is there, I I wonder if it's more well known in like the Midwest, which is like traditionally a manufacturing hub. I would say lesser. Really? I would say your, your New York's, your San Francisco's, you're more apt to find someone who knows what industrial design is. I mean, people have to wonder who Johnny Ive is. Like, you know, I, is he's I would the, love he's the British know, guy. I would love to know like how common knowledge like Jonathan Ive is in America. Yeah, it's hard to pull myself back out of design and really 
see it with a, a new lens because we're so in, ingrained into it now. Yeah, but here's the thing, Jordan. Don't tell anybody about industrial design. If I hear that you're telling <laughs> high school kids about what industrial design is, I will hunt you down. Yeah, I don't know how Chris Ferentz figured it out. I don't know. He, uh, I'm scared. I'm worried because oh, Chris Ferentz is on board. He's probably telling all of his high school buds, like, the, it's all over for us. It's all over. We're gonna get. We're gonna get. The cat's over, out of the bag. We're gonna get overtaken by these young, and young you, hot, hot shots. Too. Have you ever tried to get a cat back into a bag? It's <laughs> nearly impossible. Oh man, it's out of there. Thanks for sending that in, Jordan. Thank you. We but, have. We have time for one more, James. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh,